Holland America has to be one of the most disregarded cruise lines in the UK. The most logical reason for that would be because they don't sail from British ports and people don't really know much about them. But take it from us, Holland America are a cruise line with a lot to offer and in this review of Eurodam we'll tell you why we rate them so highly. Something which needs to be said from the outset is that Holland America ships are not glitzy or too ostentatious. They are pretty much uniformed meaning you can tell that you're on a Holland America ship even if you've only been on one before. Eurodam's decor and interior is like other ships in the fleet, her elegance is subtle and refined. The atmosphere is intimate and homely, which is the sort of vibe we enjoy from a ship on longer sailings, something which Holland America offer in abundance. So when it comes to the design of Eurodam and other ships in the fleet, don't go expecting the most glamorous ship you've ever seen, because you're not going to get it. If you enjoy that small ship feel when on a cruise, you may just fall in love with the atmosphere on Holland America ships, even if they are medium sized by today's standards. For a ship that's around 15 years of age, we were very impressed with how well maintained she was, with some very minor indicators here and there. A ship of that age is never going to look like a brand new cruise ship, regardless of whether there has been a recent refurb or not. But you can tell that Holland America have looked after her, and that she's going to be part of the fleet for many more years to come. During our recent cruise around the Caribbean and South America aboard Eurodam, we had a standard veranda stateroom on deck 6. The decor was classy and traditional, with some thoughtful and practical touches which make this grade of stateroom a good choice for a cruise whether it be long or short. This stateroom measured 190 square feet and featured a 70 square foot balcony. The overall surface area was about average when compared to veranda staterooms on other ships which sit in the premium cruise category, but the balcony was a very generous size, especially when compared to royal class ships with Princess where a balcony is just 40 square feet in surface area. In addition to the floor to ceiling windows which overlook the private veranda, this grade of stateroom features a sitting area with single sofa bed, two lower beds which convert into a queen size and all beds on board feature signature Mariner's Dream mattresses with a plush Euro topper. The beds were extremely comfortable but once again failed to reach the level of comfort you get with the beds on princess ships. All grades of stateroom aboard Holland America ships include complimentary 24 hour room service, daily housekeeping both in the morning and nightly turndown. All cabins feature a generous amount of storage as well as a safe for storing valuables. You also receive deluxe bathrobes and slippers, complimentary fresh fruit, complimentary shoe shine service, inclusive ice service and luxury Elemis hand soap, hand lotion, shower gel and shampoo in the bathrooms. When we compare the perks and benefits of accommodation aboard Holland America ships with Cunard, another cruise line which sits in the premium cruise category, we can see that the benefits you get with a stateroom such as this are very generous indeed, and go a lot further than most cruise lines. Tea and coffee making facilities do not come as standard, but as soon as our room steward knew that we were British, a kettle and some tea bags miraculously appeared, which was a great first impression of the service to come. You don't get sparkling wine on arrival like you do with Cunard, but we know what it tastes like and we're happy to conclude that the perks and benefits with Holland America are pretty generous and get the thumbs up from us. This grade of stateroom also excelled when it came to power outlets. You had four US sockets, two European sockets and three USB-A ports with one on each side of the bed. Very practical. Most grades of stateroom aboard Eurodam come with a small bath and a nasty shower curtain. A shower with a glass door would have been more welcome, but I guess it was nice to have a bath for a change as you don't get them too often on a cruise ship. The bathroom was an adequate size, however the ship did show her age more in the bathroom than other parts of the stateroom, with particular reference to the floor and some wear and tear on the taps. You can expect the decor and general maintenance of a stateroom to be pretty much the same as this for most grades of accommodation, however suites are a bit fresher on the eye as you can see with this Neptune suite. This is the second most prestigious accommodation option aboard Eurodam and features some extra amenities including a large spacious veranda, whirlpool bath and a Bose audio system. As well as a long list of extra perks exclusive to Neptune and Pinnacle suites such as fresh flowers, complimentary dry cleaning and premium breakfast room service. Guests in suites such as this also enjoy access to the exclusive Neptune lounge on deck 7 which is a suite only lounge where you can grab light bites throughout the day and speak with a concierge who will deal with any question or query you may have. To view all of the perks and benefits you receive with a Neptune suite such as this, simply pause the video now. 
Food and dining aboard Eurodam is certainly one of the key areas which impressed us and felt very much superior to much of the dining we've enjoyed recently on many other cruise ships. Starting with main dining, the dining room is the only main dining venue on board and is open for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea and dinner. We enjoyed most of what we ate here and is certainly a step up from the dining aboard Princess and Cunard ships of late. Something we did like is the menus featured some premium extra charge options including the lobster benedict at breakfast, lobster mac and cheese for lunch and a whole New England lobster for evening dinner. While we appreciated this as it gives passengers more variety and choice, we spoke to several Holland America loyalists on board who told us that this was one of the new cuts that have been implemented. As these extra charge meal options actually used to be included before the pandemic and now they're not. All we would say is that all cruise lines are having to make cuts in one form or another and we would sooner the cuts be subtle like they are with Holland America compared to the likes of P&O where there's been so many cuts the cruise line is fundamentally different to what it once was. We were a little underwhelmed at the afternoon tea served in the main dining room and it's fair to say that Cunard still take the trophy for afternoon tea in the premium cruise category. As a couple of Brits we have a lot of experience when it comes to afternoon teas but that's not to say that others wouldn't have enjoyed it. The Lido Market is the buffet style restaurant aboard Eurodam and is certainly one of the best we have experienced for food quality and selection. Everything on offer is freshly cooked and thoughtfully prepared. It's one of those buffets where you end up putting far too much on your plate as everything looks amazing and you just want to try it all. The bread served here in the Lido was exceptional and we loved that they can make you freshly made sandwiches right in front of you and it's all included but they were so good we probably would have paid for them. That's a similar story to the salad bar which happens to be the best salad bar we've encountered at sea or on land to be fair. There is a huge variety of different leaves, dressings and toppings and if truth be told this was our lunch most days. If you've tried a salad bowl aboard a Holland America ship, tell us just how good they are by dropping us a comment below. Sitting at the aft by the Seaview Pool is New York Pizza, which is another all-inclusive option where you can order a freshly cooked pizza day and night. You can also grab salads and dessert items including panna cottas here for no extra charge. For a cruise ship pizzeria, it was okay. Very middle of the road, but handy if you fancy a quick bite to eat. Something that definitely isn't middle of the road though is Dive In which is the poolside grill aboard Eurodam. Usually we're not big fans of poolside grills as we find that the food is cooked with just time in mind and very little thought or passion actually goes into the cooking of the meal itself. That is not the case at Dive In. There was a whole range of different fast food options available, including three different plant-based options, which makes a nice change from the usual none or one. The burgers and hot dogs are of gourmet quality, the sort where we've paid more than $20 for whilst on our travels. You simply place your order, add every topping or extra you desire, you're handed a buzzer and within 15 minutes it's ready. If you've tried a Johnny Rockets burger on Royal Caribbean ships, you'll know just how good they are and that you have to pay extra for them. The food at Dive In is even better and it's totally free. You can also grab light bites including French pastries at the Explorations Cafe and Pinnacle Bar, which are complimentary whenever you purchase a drink. If you have a drinks package, simply add these two venues to your list of inclusive eateries. We now arrive at the first speciality restaurant on board, Pinnacle Grill. Pinnacle Grill costs $39 per person and happens to be one of the best steakhouses at sea we have tried. You can expect an exceptional menu and impeccable service, which makes for a thoroughly enjoyable dining experience. The refined menu features a selection of 28 day wet aged prime steaks which have been meticulously chosen by Holland America's Culinary Council to guarantee the finest quality. The menu also features several different seafood and plant-based options, which are exquisitely prepared and complemented by a vast selection of award-winning wines. This is a must-try dining venue aboard Eurodam and certainly makes for a nice treat on a special occasion. Found on the port side of the Lido market is Canaletto, which is the Italian speciality restaurant on board open for dinner. You can enjoy amazing Italian classics like freshly made pasta, risotto and you can finish off with a tiramisu. Canaletto is charged at just $19 per person and is worth every bit of that. Tamarind is the Asian inspired restaurant on board which easily rivals the best Asian restaurants we have eaten at on land. Tamarind is the perfect place to explore the culinary traditions of Southeast Asia, China and Japan, from vegetable spring rolls through to a chicken red thai curry. 
The superb food was matched with impeccable service and it costs just $25 per person. If you love Asian food, you'll find it hard not to return a second or even a third time during your cruise. We're yet to try a red Thai curry as good as the one we ate at Tamarind. Whilst in Tamarind, you also have Nami Sushi. Just make it known to your waiter whether you want the Tamarind menu or the sushi menu, or pick from both. Nami Sushi operates by a la carte pricing, and was once again very good indeed, rivalling the quality of sushi on princess ships and raw on five aboard celebrity ships. Overall, food surpassed our expectations both in the speciality and all-inclusive eateries on board. We would happily return to all of the extra charge speciality restaurants on Eurodam, something we haven't said about any other ship we have sailed on. Over time, we have found ourselves dining at speciality restaurants all the more often as the standards of dining at inclusive eateries has fallen post-pandemic. That was not the case aboard Eurodam, in fact the food in the dining room and Lido market was so good we could have happily eaten at them each night of our cruise. So if you're the sort of person that likes good quality, thoughtfully prepared food but doesn't enjoy putting your hand in your pocket for speciality restaurants, Holland America is a worthy consideration. When it comes to things to do aboard Eurodam, you do need to be the right sort of person to appreciate the sort of entertainment and activities going on around the ship. Water slides? No. Rock climbing? No. Silent discos? Forget it. The atmosphere on Eurodam is relaxed and pretty tranquil much of the time. You won't find belly flop contests going on at the main pool during the day, and you won't find parties going on until the early hours. It's fair to say that Holland America is a cruise line geared up more to the older ages, with an average age of 64 for the cruise we were on. Activities during the day included quizzes, bingo, movie showings in the theatre and some easy listening poolside music at the Seaview Pool some days. And if you fancy taking part in a craft class or a bit of sewing, Eurodam has you covered. Holland America is very much a destination focused cruise line. They tend to feature a lot more shore excursions than other premium and mainstream cruise lines, and the Explorations Cafe up in the Crow's Nest is like nothing offered by other cruise lines which we have tried. In addition to a wide selection of books, you'll find large interactive touch screens to help you explore the destinations you are visiting during your cruise so that you can make the most of them when you get there. There also seem to be a lot more enrichment classes and destination presentations compared to other cruise lines, and it's evident that Holland America take the destinations they visit very seriously because they know how important they are to their guests. Having seen this firsthand, Holland America would be our cruise line of choice when it comes to a bucket list cruise destination. Taking money into account, we honestly don't think we could have chosen a better cruise line to see the Panama Canal than with Holland America. This is the Lido Pool, which is the main swimming pool on board. This pool area features a good sized swimming pool, a large hot tub and two smaller ones. The Lido pool features a retractable roof which slides all of the way off for when Eurodam is sailing to warmer climes. On the starboard side of the Lido pool, you have luxury cabanas which cost just $50 a day. Each cabana features a table and chairs, a large cushion lounger and you are waited on from 9am to 6pm. There's also cabanas available up in the retreat for $50 a day where you get the same perks and facilities, just a quieter location. For us, we preferred the ones down by the pool, so we can get in and out of the hot tubs, as the retreat on Eurodam doesn't feature a whirlpool or hot tub, like the retreat on the newer ships such as Rotterdam. When you consider that Princess charge around $40 per person per day just for a lounger in the sanctuary, you realise just how fair the value for money is for a cabana on this ship. You also have the sea view pool at the aft, which is the better pool if you're looking to catch the sun. Or why not visit the greenhouse spa? This heavenly retreat nurtures every aspect of your well-being, with a whole list of enticing beauty and massage treatments to choose from. It features a fully equipped hair and beauty salon, a rather beautiful hydrotherapy pool and thermal suite which comprises steam rooms, a sauna and tropical rain showers. The hydrotherapy pool features various therapeutic air jets and pumps to pummel away any stress you have. Prices to use the thermal suite and hydrotherapy pool vary by cruise, but we were charged $299 per couple for the 11 nights we were on board, which sounds quite fair when you consider that Celebrity charged $219 per person to use the thermal suite on a 7 night cruise, and Cunard charged $39 per person for a 2 hour session alone. If you like to stay active during your cruise, you'll find the sports court aft just behind the funnel, you have a full wraparound promenade deck to get those morning walks in, or why not visit the fitness centre? 
Equipped with the latest cardio and weight machines, the fitness centre aboard Eurodam is staffed by fully qualified gym instructors where personal training is offered for an extra charge. There's certainly enough going on on board for us, but what about you? Let us know in the comments below. Children, how would they fare on Eurodam? It depends if they've dipped their toes in the likes of Royal Caribbean or one of the other family focused cruise lines. There is a children's club on board, but having seen what facilities exist on other ships with different cruise lines, it's tiny. Holland America are a great cruise line, but children may think otherwise. When it comes to evening entertainment aboard Eurodam, we were blown away. We knew that music was a big part of Holland America's brand, but we weren't expecting to be wowed quite as much as we were. You can expect a large theatre like you get on most other modern cruise ships, which can be found all the way forward of Deck 1 and spans all the way up to Deck 3. The World Stage Theatre is the largest entertainment venue on board and is home to a variety of performances day and night. Come the evening, expect to be dazzled by Broadway-style theatre shows and unique entertainment such as BBC Earth in Concert, which was nothing short of fantastic. BB King's Blues Club ranks as one of our most favourite entertainment venues at sea, and is the place to go when you're feeling upbeat and ready to dance. Direct from Beale Street in Memphis, BB King's all-star band cooks up a rich southern heritage of classic soul and rock and roll to get you dancing. The music put on here throughout our cruise on Eurodam was quite frankly exceptional. At Lincoln Centre Stage you can enjoy classical contemporary music performed by the ship's sensational musicians. In an exclusive partnership with the world's leading centre for performing arts, Music virtuosos perform familiar classics with their own contemporary twist. The music performed at both BB King's and Lincoln Centre Stage was of a calibre we have never seen on a cruise ship before. When it comes to the service aboard Eurodam, it's the same old story. It was fantastic. Bar service inside the ship was phenomenal and highly personable, which we value. Bar service at poolside bars was also speedy and friendly, and after a couple of days, waiters become familiar with our drink orders. We can't recall going on a ship where crew was so friendly and outgoing, it honestly felt as though nothing was too much effort for them. And it's fair to say that Holland America is the big ship cruise line to beat when it comes to service in our view. We've touched on a few areas where Holland America offer fair value for money. Speciality restaurants, the retreat, the spa, shore excursions and the cruise fair itself. We didn't expect to go on Eurodam and discover the best drink package at sea. It's called the Have It All Package. It costs just $50 per person per day, or around £40 per person per day if you're from the UK, and that includes a very decent signature drinks package, a Wi-Fi package which allows for browsing, social media and online messaging, shore excursion credit up to $300, and up to three meals at speciality restaurants. Princess is the only cruise line out there which comes close to matching Holland America when it comes to value for money, but even then, this package is in a league of its own. Even though the Have It All package is our package of choice, there are a few other drink package options available with Holland America. If you'd like to check those out in more detail, click the banner in the top right hand corner now. One of the few things to grumble and moan about was the Wi-Fi and internet connection aboard Eurodam. For most of our crews, it was diabolical. Very rarely did a WhatsApp message send straight away, and as for loading a picture on Facebook, you've got to be joking. It was impossible. Even upgrading to the premium Wi-Fi package, which cost $34.99 per person per day, it was as hopeless and guest services did kindly refund us for that upgrade for the whole duration of our cruise, demonstrating once again that go in the extra mile level of service. This was our first cruise with Holland America and to be honest we were so very impressed with our first experience. Food and service were generally fantastic at both inclusive and extra charge venues. The entertainment is very different to other cruise ships with a huge focus on high quality music performances. With the music performances at Lincoln Stage, BB King's Blues Club and Billboard on board, they were next level and it's clear that Holland America have something very special when it comes to entertainment, you just need to be the right person to appreciate it. Service was also exemplary and it's clear that Holland America are maintaining the standards people quite rightly expect when paying to cruise with a premium cruise line. Eurodam is not a glitzy or a glamorous ship. You don't find yourself going around the ship doing too many oohs and ahs, but instead you have a homely and inviting decor, one which is uniformed with other ships in the Holland America fleet, so that returning guests feel a sense of familiarity as soon as they step on board. We loved our time on board so much, we went and booked another two cruises whilst on board, 
including a 33-night Grand Asian voyage aboard Westerdam in 2024. If that isn't testament to how great our time on Eurodam was, we don't know what is. Thanks for watching.